Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to today's video on lead generation. This is video number two in our series of the free lead generation course. Now, if you missed the last video, let me catch you up to speed. <laughs> And what we want to do is we want to find out if we're going to be able to compete with them and rank above them. In the last video, we went over how to pick out a niche in an industry. We went through, we did some competitive analysis, and that leads us to today's video. I left you with some homework too. Hopefully you did that and you wrote down some things. If not, you can catch up on it after this video. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can go back and watch that. But today we are going to be going through and picking out all of our keywords that we're going to be using to build out the website. Site. So don't worry if you've never done any of this stuff before. That's what this free course is all about. All right. So if you are not subscribed to the channel and you want to keep up with this lead generation free course and series, you want to make sure you drop below right now and subscribe and tick the bell notification icon. That way YouTube will notify you when I go live with the next video in the series. There will be a lot of videos in the series. And again, the best way to get everything going is to be taking action on this. So grab your notepad and pen smash that like button and let's hop on the computer and do some keyword research all right guys so let's jump into this so for starters we need to use keywords everywhere that is the tool i am using keywords everywhere everywhere as explained in the last video used to be a free tool they do charge now but it's very very cheap it's it's super cost effective it is like ten dollars for a hundred thousand credits that means that you'll be able to research a hundred thousand keywords off of ten dollars that's going to get you really really far all right so if you remember in the last video we decided on an industry and a location hopefully you have have a bunch of ideas on industry and location. Remember I told you do not copy mine because they will probably get saturated because probably everyone's going to do that. So don't do that. You'll just be setting yourself up for failure if you do that. So we set our sights on roofing and roofer in Cedarburg, Wisconsin in the last video. But that's not quite good enough because Although we kind of have like two ideas of keywords, we need to start digging deeper before we can start building the website. And this video, I don't know if we'll get into the website build yet. If not, we'll probably do that in the next video. But before we can do that, we need to make sure we have a solid foundation for keyword research. What you're looking at on my screen here is my keyword research planning worksheet. I will try and leave a link in the description of this video for a free download of this sheet. And that way you can go and you can use it after we're done with this video. Um, or I guess I will upload it after we're done with this video so that you can use it. So uh, go check out the description. Anyways, let's just get started here. So I have two phases of keyword research that I go through. And the first thing I want to say about keyword research before we even dive into it is you're going to see a lot of data that might not always make sense. Like if we append Cedarburg, Wisconsin to roofer, or like Cedarburg to roofer or roofing, it might not get a lot of search volume like the monthly search volume might say zero, but I can almost guarantee you that that is false because there are people that live in Cedarburg that are gonna be searching for it. So what we're really looking for here, instead of an exact number of searches, is we're looking for a pattern. We wanna see which keywords are most important, like is roofing more important than roofer? So what we usually do is we have two phases of keyword research. We have a broad phase of keyword research where we go super broad with it and we don't append any city name. And then we have a second phase of it where we append the larger city to it. And by larger city, I mean, so not Cedarburg, but like the city nearby, which would be Milwaukee if we would look on a map. We went over that in the last video slightly. So let's just start off with getting some ideas. And I'm gonna get some ideas by researching a company in the area. Let's just go roofing. Milwaukee and let's find a company in the area that is ranking pretty well maybe this company here or this one here and I just want to get some keyword ideas I want to see what kind of keywords they're going after and then I'm gonna write them down okay so residential roofing there's one that I maybe wouldn't have thought of so we're using this kind of first phase as like a brain dump gutters lots of roofers do gutters it's probably something we're gonna to want to include exterior repair I think we'll just go with maybe roof repair because I think if we say exterior, it might not be specific enough because exterior could mean siding or windows or all kinds of different things. And roofers, I'm sure, do a lot of different things. Now, what I'm reading through is I'm trying to read through their website. So say roofing systems and applications. I'm going to look through their services, residential roofing, gutter services, repair services. Let's just click through some of these pages and see what they say. Let's see, installing. So maybe we'll do like roof 
install or installation. We'll, we'll research that in a minute. We're just kind of doing a brain dump first so we can really, you know, get some ideas going. All right, I'm gonna check out one of the other websites. These guys don't really have a lot of uh, keywords stuffed in there, surprisingly, but let's check out some of the other ones. Okay, um, let's see what these guys have. These guys really don't have too much either. So, oh, commercial roofing, there's one. So we'll grab that. Uh, I'm not gonna go after siding stuff just because we don't know necessarily if the company we're gonna sell leads to does siding. So we'll just go with uh, roof. Okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at another one. And the more time you spend on this phase, kind of the better because you're gonna find more stuff. So integrity roofing, uh, roofing contractors. So there is one, it's a good one. Let's see what else we got. Roofing company right here. So you're seeing now that I'm coming up with all kinds of keywords that I initially didn't think of necessarily. And they kind of seem obvious, but like, I don't know. I just didn't really think of them until I actually saw it right in front of me. Yeah, they got roofing company and roofing contractor a lot. So I'm guessing that those are probably good ones for them. Um, let's see. I think that's good, but we'll start with that. So usually about 10 keywords or so is a good place to start. And now we're gonna go, we're gonna start plugging these in to Google. All right, so I'm gonna move this window off to the side and I'm gonna open up Google just so that we can see both of them at the same time. And I'm gonna type in roofing and I've got my keywords everywhere plugin for Chrome installed up here. So that's gonna show me the monthly volume. So 301,000. Again, we're looking for patterns here. We wanna find out which ones are bigger than the other. 22,300, residential roofing 2,900. That's not very big. I'm actually surprised that one's not more. Gutters, 201,000. Roof repair, 60,500. Roof install, only 37 on that. Commercial roofing, 9,900. Roofing contractors, I think we're gonna go with. Let's just, yeah, roofing contractors, 60,500. Put an S on there. And then roofing company, 5,700. Okay, so now we're gonna do a test and we're gonna see if we're gonna be able to use our smaller city or if we're gonna have to go after the larger city. And the way we do the test is we take one of the bigger keywords like roofing and we just put our city name after it and see if it gets any search volume. So zero volume, let's try it before it. If we get no search volume before or after it, that leads me to believe that I'm gonna have to skip straight into the bigger city and do my research based off of that. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go and do roofing Milwaukee, 480. Okay, so now we're gonna start phase two of our keyword research. And then I think I remember from doing this yesterday that roofer Milwaukee was exactly the same. It was 480. So do residential roofing Milwaukee, only 10. And you can actually try and flip these around, but the data is probably gonna be very similar anyways. And most likely you're gonna rank for both anyways. But if you wanna check both, you definitely can. It's definitely a good idea. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do one at a time. Okay, gutters Milwaukee, 110. Roof repair Milwaukee, 170, that's a good one. Um, okay, roof install. Zero, commercial roofing, 40. Okay, what's next? Uh, roofing contractors, 260, nice. That was a really good one. So remember, I kind of guessed that, right? Because I saw that they were using that a lot on their website. And just by seeing them using it a lot on their website, I guessed that that was probably one of their bigger keywords. All right, let's try roofing company, Milwaukee. 170, good. Okay, so now you can see some patterns. And the patterns are this, right? It's that these are our two best keywords, then this is our second best keyword, and these are probably like our third. So we know exactly what keywords to go after now. Now we can dig deeper if we want, keywords everywhere. And again, like I said, the more time you spend on this stuff, the better. Keywords everywhere will give you different ideas here. So roofing companies, don't ever, I don't ever do the near me stuff because the way we optimize the website, you're gonna show up for those kind of searches anyways, but you could definitely go and look up roofing companies but yeah, you'll get ideas here anyways of different things that are related. Roofing companies that finance. Okay, so you can go through here and look through all of those as well. The other thing that you can look for to get keyword ideas is on the suggested search when you start typing, affordable roofing. Um, so yeah, roofing companies, 
yeah, you'll get you'll get lots of ideas just by going through there and doing that as well. So those are the main methods and the main ways for finding these keywords. If you want to write down the cost per click, that shows right here. So like it says 2878, you could put that in this column here. That means it's not really relative to you because you're not gonna be paying for this traffic. But what that means is if you were to run a Google AdWords ad, it would cost you $28.78 to pay for that. And that's just for a click, for someone to click on the website. So if someone came and they clicked on one of these ads right here, it would cost them $28.78. But what that does for you, if you write those down, I usually like to, I forgot, but I usually like to write them all down. What that does is it allows you to justify your price per lead cost when you start to sell these leads because that's just for a click. So certainly a live phone call or a lead via email is going to be worth a lot more money than just a click. So it allows you to justify your price and uh, you can really start to do some fun things with that. So again, I'm gonna leave a link to this doc in the description of this video. I'll leave the one that's filled out here. What I want you to do is make sure you go to file and make a copy when I leave the link to it because that'll put it into your own Google account. If you try to request access to the doc, I'm not going to approve it. I don't check this email account. So all you have to do to access it is click make a copy in Google and I'm going to I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. All right? So that is the video for you today. Now, what I want you to do for homework is I want you to go and do exactly what I just did. Take your niche and your location. If you didn't do that yet from the last video, I'll leave a link in the description to watch that video. But I want you to go and do this keyword research and map out your entire document because in our next video, video number three, in our micro or mini course that we're doing here on lead generation, the free course, we're going to get going and start building out the website. So you're gonna need all of this information done before we do that. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to follow along with the series, be sure to drop below and subscribe and take the bell notification icon so that you get notified of the next video in the series. Also, please smash the like button if you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below so that I can try and cover it in my next video. And if there's anyone you know who they're not able to work right now, or you think that they could use some extra income, please share this series with them so that other people can get involved as well. This is a business model that is going to thrive because business owners are going to need leads. And when this is all over, businesses are going to need to pick back up and they're going to need more leads coming back in. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video of the series. I am Paul James. Peace out.